Choosing the right sub is the hardest part for these. This is the math guy, Steve. Evaluate this integral, right? So we got the integral of dx over the square root of nine minus x squared. This we're gonna let x equal three sine of theta. And so what that does here is, if this is theta, then we know that x equals three sine theta. That means that x over three equals the sine of theta. And we know from our Soka Toa that sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So this would be x and this would be three. And so this third side would be the square root of nine minus x squared by Pythagorean theorem. So from there, if x equals three sine of theta, then we know that dx equals three cosine of theta d theta. And we see that the square root of nine minus x squared would be the square root of nine minus three sine of theta squared, which is the square root of nine minus nine sine squared of theta. Or in other words, factoring out of nine, we get the square root of nine times the square root of one minus sine squared of theta. But we know one minus sine squared is cosine squared. So that's three times the square root of cosine squared of theta. In other words, three cosine of theta. So using all that information, this integral now becomes the integral of dx. We said it's three cosine of theta. So three cosine. Now we see the square root of nine minus x squared is three cosine of theta. So notice what happens. Well, these threes cancel and its cosines cancel. So now we just get the integral of d theta, which is just theta plus some constant c. Now we go back to our original where we know, okay, if we know x over three equals sine of theta, then theta would equal the sine inverse of x over three. So that would be sine inverse of x over three plus c would be the evaluation of this integral. Always remember, math is everywhere.